I would like all of you to take a moment and think about your problems, your insecurities, your health issues, your lack of focus and motivation. I'm sure some of you, if not all, have thought of something that falls into at least one of these categories. My goal today is to present to you with a possible solution, exercising. Uh, as cliche as it may sound, our nutrition, sleep, and exercise directly affect our mood and our physical health. Uh, I do wish to tell, I could tell you that improving our lives is as simple and easy as swallowing a pill or snapping our fingers, but I can't, that would be a lie. However, I can tell you my story and maybe potentially motivate you all into improving your lifestyles. To start, I want to talk about where my motivation originally came from. The most frequently asked question I get from beginners who are seeking for advice, and I'm sure most fitness enthusiasts and coaches can agree with me on this one, is how do I lose weight? My initial worry was no different. When my coach asked me what it was that I was trying to achieve, I said I wanted to lose fat. For context, I was 15 years old, uh, was 175 centimeters in height and weight 86 kilograms. After a few months of consistent hard work, I started making great progress. I was stronger, I was leaner, and I was healthier than I had ever been before. I was closer to my goal than I had ever been before. However, I still was not happy with the way that I looked. This all came down to me comparing myself to fitness influencers I saw on social media. I would go and look at edited photos of people who had been training for half of their lives, taking performance enhancing drugs and manipulating camera angles and lighting to look the best versions of themselves in those moments. It took me a long time until I finally accepted how much of a highlight real social media really is. Truth be told, even these influencers don't look the way uh, they, these pictures show us they do. To further extend this point, I would like you to take a look at two pictures of me taken at two different moments throughout my day. This first picture is me after I've just fin after finishing a workout, posing in perfect lighting with a pump. And this next one is how I would look like the other 90% of the day. As you can see, the one on the right is significantly less impressive, but it is actually what I would look like for the most, most time. Uh, now let's move on to the second part of this talk where I talk about how uh, exercising and how living an active lifestyle actually affects our lives. And other, uh, the first thing I would like to talk about is mood. Uh, our mood is the, affected by, uh, by exercising positively because of the change, changes in our hormones. The main hormone I'm talking about is serotonin. You may be aware that serotonin is a the hormone that is commonly targeted by antidepressants. It is the hormone that is responsible for our positive mood. The production increase in serotonin positively affects our mood and we end up feeling better about the activity that we just completed. The next thing I want to talk about is discipline. I'm sure all of you have realized that by now that I love every moment I spend at the gym. However, there are still times where I'm feeling lazy, where I'm trying to come up with an excuse and look for any possible reason to avoid training. This is when discipline kicks in. I've realized that after staying consistent in the gym for so long, the discipline I developed has also transferred to other aspects of my life, such as school and other responsibilities. Um, I, and I can now uh, focus for longer and uh, concentrate on tasks and get my, put my head down and get a lot of work done more easily. Uh, however, I do not want this to be misunderstood. Every time someone mentions discipline, everybody thinks that they need to be sacrificing something. No, I do not want any of you to think that unless you're sacrificing your social life or putting your life through hell, doing intense workouts, you're not going to achieve your goals. Quite the opposite. I want all of you to find an activity that you enjoy, that you can do for as long as you would like and do it consistently. Uh, next. I already mentioned the momentary mental boost that we get after complete, completing our workouts, but where does the long-term happiness come from? No, it does not come from compliments on our physiques by the people from the people that we like. The only ones who have ever acknowledged by physique are their gym bros and dudes. But no, seriously, where does it all come from? Well, what do you think matters to the people around you? People you care about, people you love, how much you can lift, how lean your physique is, how well defined of a six pack you have, how fast you can run. No, they care about your well-being. 
They worry when you're sick. They care about that you want to see you confident and strong. They want to see you succeed. They want to share their happy moments with you. I do not see anything more fulfilling than comfortably jumping in a picture with your parents or chasing around your kids and carrying them on your shoulders. Stop obsessing over an achievable perfection because the people that really matter, pe people who care about you, don't judge you by how much you weigh or how much you can do. They wish to see you con they wish to see you happy. They want to see you succeed. Uh, so stop finding new ways to ruin the happy that happiness. I understand that making these changes and implementing new habits in your lives can prove difficult. However, changing a more, however, choosing a more active lifestyle has never been a regret. Thank you for your time and attention.